was discussed by, by me with the Chief Justice at my meeting with him this morning. So there is much concern, and the concern is that it is a violation to incarcerate someone, to deprive him of his right to freedom and liberty, to incarcerate him after he has served his sentence. So I understand it is a, a question of determining uh, his uh, nationality. Uh, and really I urge that whatever the issues are, that they be uh, addressed immediately. And certainly I call for his release while the government and other and judicial institutions are deliberating over his case. Government said to me that tourists come to Barbados because the Barbadians are so happy, so welcoming, they're so happy, smiling all the time. And this attracts tourists. Now, this is a denial because there are people who are extremely vulnerable here. They include children who are subjected to uh, corporate punishment in school, pregnant young girls who are expelled from school as soon as they are pregnant. Now, I was told this doesn't happen. And uh, I invited then a public statement so headmasters can hear the message that Barbados does not expel pregnant girls from school. Um, above all, the culture of violence has to be addressed, and that should be addressed by having discussions and dialogues so everyone respects the human rights of the next person. Women should not be sexually harassed, children should not be beaten. People should not be incarcerated unless they've committed a crime. Uh, and, so, and one such example is this crime of wandering where girls are picked up and what happens to them? Nobody can tell me what happens to them. They're being held, why and for how long? And this is what I mean. Denial of some key underlying issues that should trouble every person living in Barbados. Uh, didn't have, and I, I must uh, confess that I only heard of the case when I got here. This is the importance. It's very hard to keep a watch over the old world, but once it comes to my notice, that we do write letters. I would be following up with writing a, a letter on that matter. Uh, I came mainly because it did trouble me that there's a whole area that has never been uh, visited by a high commission. Right. We began with Barbados simply because the government of Barbados issued the invitation to me that facilitates a visit. And also because, as I said in my statement, Barbados is coming up for review of its human rights situation in the glare of, uh, of the public because the process will be webcast. Every person here will be watching the government defend its policy. Questions will be coming up from the media you or me is coming from other member states. So it's a very interesting process. The goal obviously is not to criticize the country, especially a developing country that is trying and lacks resources and capacity. The goal is how best to help that country to protect, uh, to advance the protection and promotion of human rights in their country. Human rights, a call for immediate investigation, justice must be done for the victim. It's not just this individual case, it calls into question uh, the delivery of justice in all situations like this. In this particular case, it was the, uh, the family itself, their distress that became known to the general public. It was once again people pressure that has drawn attention to this case. It shouldn't be so. The law should operate equally in respect of all violations. So, so like every other situation such as this, we will be urging an investigation uh, and prosecution and trial. And, and of course, reparation for the victim.